Sports. Hi, my name is Laura Mullinex. I'm a senior AIML specialist solutions architect at AWS. And today I'm going to be discussing Amazon SageMaker Studio Notebooks and how to utilize them to accelerate your generative AI development. Amazon SageMaker Studio is an integrated development environment or IDE for machine learning. With SageMaker Studio, you can quickly launch notebooks, co-edit or collaborate your notebooks in real time, and dial up or down your compute resources without interrupting your work. You also have everything you need for your end-to-end -end machine learning development, such as preparing data, building, training, deploying, and monitoring your machine learning models. With SageMaker Studio notebooks that are backed by large GPU instances, you're, enable, you're able to enable rapid prototyping and debugging. With generative AI development, you may find that you would like to customize your model. One approach to customizing your model is called fine tuning. What is fine tuning? In contrast to pre-training, where you're training a large language model on vast amounts of textual unstructured data in a self-supervised manner, fine-tuning, you are taking labeled data set and in a supervised fashion, you're updating the model weights. The model weights are changed so that you're able to adapt this generalized model to perform more domain-specific tasks or introduce newer domains of information, such as a large language model might not be trained for certain industries like healthcare life sciences, legal, or financial services. Let's take a look at what this process looks like. Fine tuning is similar to training, except it utilizes a smaller data set. With fine tuning, you select the pre trained foundation model that you would like to use, which has thousands of different examples. Fine tuning requires high computation power. With full fine tuning, you're updating all the weights of the large foundation model. This means that you have a new version of the model each time you fine tune the model on a specific task. When you fine tune the model for different tasks, then you will have different versions of the model. And since the, will, this will be the same size of the original model, this results in a very expensive storage problem. Also, since large language models contain billions of parameters, or sometimes hundreds of billions of parameters, that means that the full precision representation of these large language models often does not fit on a single or even multiple GPUs. So another approach to fine tuning is a technique called performance efficient fine tuning. With performance efficient fine tuning, you are able to provide less number of labeled examples to perform fine tuning. The most, if not all, of the model weights of the model are actually frozen. And then you're either able to add new small layers or parameters and train these actual smaller layers, smaller subsets of layers of the model, which results in a more feasible memory uh, usage um, of the foundation model. So sometimes this can result in lower accuracy when you're performing fine tuning and then only fine tuning a small uh, subset 
of the parameters of the model. To combat this, there are other methods for parameter efficient fine tuning that I will be showing in a demo. These methods are called LoRa or QLoRa. QLoRa, in short, reduces the memory usage of the foundation model without resulting in a lower accuracy. So it is able to maintain more solid performance. You are able to quantize or compress the model, uh, the large language model using QLoRa. Let's take a look at an example notebook which shows how to use QLoRa and PEST to fine tune a large language model on SageMaker Studio notebook. In this example notebook, we will be fine tuning the Falcon 7B or 7 billion parameter model using Hugging Face, QLoRa, PEFT, and Bets and Bytes libraries. This is an open source model. Uh, you're also able to fine tune other models if you would like using SageMaker Studio notebooks. For this purpose of this demonstration, we will be using a medical Q&A data set from Hugging Face to be able to fine tune this model to be more domain specific for healthcare life sciences use case where we're able to ask questions uh, regarding different diseases. First, we are going to select the instance type that we would like to perform fine tuning on with our SageMaker Studio notebook. In this example, I will be using a G5 12X large instance. A G5 12X large instance contains four A10G GPUs. You are also able to select a smaller or larger instance depending on the type of large language model that you would like to fine tune. First, we are going to install the required libraries. We'll be installing the Hugging Face libraries, including Accelerate, the Transformers, PEFT, and Bits and Bytes from source. These are required so that we can load the model into 4-bit precision, which we'll be doing with QLoRa, where we'll be able to quantize the model from floating point 16 to 4 bit. Next, we will set the CUDA environment path, which is a dependency uh, of this PyTorch installation and required for Bits and Bytes library. It also uh, helps with model parallelism that we'll be doing using Hunting Face accelerators for the actual model training. Before we train our model, we need to convert our inputs or a text into token IDs. And this is done by Hugging Face Transformers Tokenizer. We will select the Falcon 7B model. Then we will be setting the bits and bytes configuration. We'll be loading into four bits. And then also as part of the configuration, we are specifying the device map as auto. So that Hugging Face Accelerate will automatically determine which GPU, since we have four in this case, to put each layer of the model on. This process, again, is known as model parallelism. Next, we will use Hugging Face PEFT library. And this is where we will be freezing most of the original model weight. And in this case, we will be adding small trainable adapter layers, which is called LoRa, and then we'll be training these small adapter layers for our fine tuning. Here is the LoRa configuration, and you can update these parameters depending on the large language model you're using. This is specific in this case for Falcon 7B. And we can also specify the target modules. What this means is that we can determine what layers of the model that we actually want to fine tune. We are able to print the trainable parameters, um, the, the number of trainable parameters that we will be uh, fine tuning. So in this case, 
you can see that we will only be fine tuning a very small percentage of the 7 billion parameters. In this example, we are fine tuning about 0.07%, which makes this much more feasible to fine tune in a reasonable amount of time. Next, we'll be splitting the data set. So we're loading the 20% of the data set for training and 10% for evaluation. And we create a prompt template and then load the data set with a random sample to try for summarization. And you can see the actual output here to see this medical uh, data set. We are tokenizing and chunking the data sets and then showing the number of trainable samples and evaluation samples. And now we move on to actually training the model. We'll be using the Hugging Face Trainer class for the fine tuning and defining the hyperparameters we want to use. In this case, these are all configurable. In this demonstration, we set the epochs to one since we only want to pass through one time, uh, just for time's sake. And then we start training. As you can see, it took a little less than 29 minutes to fine tune 0.07% of the Falcon 7B model. Here we're able to evaluate and return the metrics for this fine tune model and save this model to use it for inference. Lastly, let's compare the fine tune model to the original Falcon 7B model before we perform fine tuning. So we'll load the actual saved adapters and the original generalized Falcon 7B model and set the hyperparameters for the large language model to perform inference. These hyperparameters can all be adjusted depending on how creative you would like the outputs of the models to be. Now we can interact with the model by using the following prompt. And then actually defining the structure of the response of the large language models. Let's pass through a prompt to the fine tune model. Let's ask a question related to the medical Q&A data set. We ask the fine tune model, what are the treatments for ARDS as input? And you're able to see the output of the fine tune model where it tells you what the treatments are um, in a pretty detailed fashion. Let's use the same prompt then and compare the fine tuned response to the original generalized model response. You're able to visually analyze that the response from the original model is not as complete and looks to be maybe more inaccurate than the fine-tuned model. Let's take a look at another example. Again, we have a prompt that we're inputting for the fine-tuned model. And here is the output compared to the original model. Again, the fine-tuned model seems to be more accurate and specific for healthcare life sciences. In summary, we were able to utilize SageMaker Studio Notebooks to fine tune a large language model. With SageMaker Studio Notebooks, you're able to use large GPU-backed instances to quickly do rapid prototyping and generative AI development. You can also use SageMaker Studio Notebooks for various other generative AI tasks. Thank you.